question, we need to find the equation of the normal to y equals 3x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 at the point 0, 1. So the normal is a straight line that is perpendicular to the curve at the point 0, 1. And to work out the equation of a straight line, we need to know the gradient and also the y-intercept. Now, if I want to start by working out the gradient, what's going to help me is to first work out an expression for the gradient of the curve. And whenever you need to work out the gradient of the curve, you must differentiate, okay? So I'm going to start by just writing out the equation of the curve again. So y equals 3x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. And I'm going to find the derivative of this equation dy by dx, okay? So remember, when you differentiate, you have to take this power here and multiply by this number. So 3 times 3 is 9 and the power always decreases by 1, so this will become x squared, okay? Then if I differentiate the next term, I take this power, so 2 multiplied by 3, which is 6, and again, the power decreases by 1, so I'm left with x to the power of 1, or you can just write x, and then if we differentiate this term, we have positive 1 multiplied by negative 4, which is negative 4. And again, the power decreases by 1, so x to the power of 0 is just equal to the number 1. And negative 4 times 1 is negative 4. And whenever you differentiate a constant, we're left with 0, okay? So if you need more practice with differentiating, please do have a look at my other lesson where I go into a bit more detail, okay? So this is an expression for the gradient of the curve at any point, except we do have a point, okay? We know that the gradient is at this point here, 0, 1. So what we can do is replace the x value in this expression with the x coordinate here, 0, okay? So I'm just going to substitute in 0 in place of x and then calculate. Okay, so you know that anything multiplied by 0 is always 0, so this term is 0, this term is 0, so the gradient of the curve at that point is going to be negative 4, okay? So we now need to work out the gradient of the normal. And remember I said the normal, this straight line, always has a gradient that's perpendicular, so at 90 degrees to the curve. So what you need to remember is that when two lines are perpendicular to each other, their gradients always multiply together to give negative 1. Okay, so if we take this gradient here, negative 4, and we times it by m, so a gradient that we need to work out, the answer when we multiply the two gradients together always has to be negative 1. Okay, this is a rule. So if I want to solve this equation to work out the value of n, the gradient of the normal, I have to divide by negative 4 on both sides, okay? So that will give me m is equal to positive a quarter, as negative 1 divided by negative 4 is positive a quarter, okay? So this is the gradient of our normal. An easy way to remember how to work out the gradient is this sign will always change, when comparing the two gradients. So if this one's negative, this one will always be positive and vice versa. And if you like, you're switching it upside down. Okay, so 4 becomes 1 over 4. Okay, so that's the gradient of our normal. So if you think of the standard equation of a straight line, as remember the normal is a straight line, it looks like this. y equals mx plus c. Okay, and we have m, the gradient, we just worked it out. It's a quarter. So this is what the equation of the normal looks like so far, okay? So next what we have to do is work out the value of c, the y-intercept. And the only way you can do that is by substituting in the coordinates given in the question, okay? So you're going to replace your x, y values with 0, 1, okay? So I'm going to swap y for positive 1 and x for 0. And then now I can calculate the value of c. A quarter multiplied by 0 is just 0, so 1 is equal to c. So this is the y-intercept of our straight line, the normal, okay? So now we can put it all together, okay? We can substitute our gradient and our y-intercept back into the equation here. So that y equals a quarter x plus 1, okay? So this is the equation of the normal that we have to work out. 
Sometimes in an exam question, it asks you not to have fractions here. Okay, so if you wanted to get rid of this fraction here, what you can do is multiply everything in this equation by 4. So that y times 4 is 4y. A quarter times 4 is just 1, so 1x. And 1 times 4 is 4. But essentially, these are the same equations, and you only need to do this step if it asks for integer values, okay, so you don't want a fraction here in your equation.